Yay! <laughs> and I'm happy to see you all this morning practicing with me. I'm Jules, for those who don't know me. And happy Friday, first of all. Thank you for making it onto your mat that early. Let's start in a comfortable seated position to just connect to your space, to your own body this morning. And I always like to start my practice by scanning my body and my mind from inside out. And as today is also a new moon, which creates an energy for new intentions. Maybe there's something that pops up in your heart or mind that you want to focus on. And I like to play with the question today, how can we use that energy that we nourished within ourselves due to the circumstances? but use that to connect with the outer world from a new perspective. Allow yourself to feel your breath fully, to arrive in this space with all that you are right now. Take three more here. Stay with your inhale and exhale. And then guide your hands together in front of your heart. Let's begin practice by chanting one on together if you like. Exhale all the air out and inhale to begin. Oh. to your chest, be humble with yourself and your own practice. Inhale, open your arms over your head, connect the fingers behind the head and gently twist over the right side. Try not to use your head so much but more the active shoulder rotation. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back, arms open over the side. Exhale, just go to one side, gentle back, uh, side bend. Inhale, brings you up and exhale to the other side. Stay soft and fluid, just from right to left. You can go as deep as it feels good. You can keep the arms completely straight. What do you need? One more time, each side. Now we go into a twist, so bring the right arm back, left arm over the side. In, uh, exhale, pulls you to the front, inhale, opens you into the twist to the other side. Also two more times on each side. Do you want to use your gaze to follow your arm or is that too much for your neck? One more time, use your breath as you follow your movement. And exhale, just walk your hands to the front, let your head hang loose. Maybe you want to shake out your head a little bit. And 
And then drag yourself back up and come all the way into a tabletop position on your mat. We're going to work with some side bends here as well. So the shoulders are in one line with the wrist and you try to bring the hips to the side. Create a banana shape on the left side by shrinking the left side. Inhale pulls you back. Exhale other side. Inhale center. Exhale one more time. Inhale through the middle. Exhale other side. Inhale, find a neutral spine, walk your hands a little bit more forward so you can just bring the hips down and also move the hips a little bit from side to side. You can kind of just rest in your shoulders to warm up the side body. You can roll all the way to the outer glutes if you want. You can also bend your arms, just see what feels good. Then push yourself back into your child's pose. Knees together a while. Take two more deep breaths here. Just feel how the first movements felt in your body. Take a little note so you can adjust each posture based on that. And then push yourself back into your first downward facing dog of today's practice. What do you need here? Do you need to bend your legs? Can you straighten them already? Do you want to create movement or do you want to find stillness? What are you craving right now? No matter where you are, try to find one deep breath and stillness in your downward facing dog. Then walk your feet to the outside of your hand, yogi squat position. Stay on your fingertips and just wiggle your hips a little bit from side to side. You can come all the way onto the outer edge of your feet. Also inner edge if you want to play with inwards rotation. And then find your squat but walk your hands to the front. Let the head be long, the neck. Relaxed. And then from here, drag the hands back at the same time, straighten your legs. You can keep them wide, but bring the feet parallel to the front and swing your hips from side to side. Stay soft in your upper body. And then find a moment to just hang, take opposite elbows. Feel the stretch arriving in the back of your legs. Do you need to bend your knees or can you keep them straight already? It's still early. Take one more deep breath here. Maybe exhale out of the mouth. Release. Let go of the arms. Move the feet together. Bend the knees so they can roll up all the way into a standing position. Come to the front of the mat if you're not there yet. Hands in front of your heart. Let's start with some sun salutations. Inhale brings your arms up, Utvastasana. Exhale, bow forward, full tanasana. Inhale, lift your heart and chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back into your plank. Let's bring the knees down for the first one, bend your arms. Slide all the way down onto the mat and lift yourself into your cobra. Let's stay for two deep breaths here. Pull the shoulder blades together. See how this first pose feels. And exhale, push yourself back to your heels. And find yourself in your downward facing dog. One deep breath here. Exhale it out and sink into your downward facing down. Inhale up to the front. Make your way to the front, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale all the way up to standing with Vastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. If you want, cactus your arms to open your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Tadasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Back to plank, Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. What do you need? Exhale, back to downward facing dog. One deep breath here. Lift the right leg up. Let's make some big circles for our hips. In both directions. And take the right knee in between your hands and come onto your fingertips. I really like to just move forward and backward a little bit. You should feel that in your outer glutes. You can also roll from right to left. Just give your hip a stretch before we add any weight. Inhale, brings the right leg up. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Find your high lunge, arms up. Take one deep breath here. Exhale, sink into your hips. Inhale, open to warrior two. Exhale, extend it side angle. Right elbow onto your knee, left arm over your head. Inhale, brings you up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, right palm flips. Exhale, reverse triangle. Open the side body here. Make sure your hip is in one line. Sink back into warrior two. Focus your gaze to the front. Pull the belly button in. Exhale, brings you down all the way to the mat. Move through your vinyasa. You can always take the knee as support. And exhale, brings you back to downward facing down. We move on to the other side, lift the left knee up. Create some big circles. Just say hello to your hips. And then, if you did both directions, bring the knee into the middle of your head and explore. So you just want to stay? Do you want to move back and forth, sideways? I'm a big fan of just exploring what our body has to offer today. Hands down, lift your left leg up, three-legged down, down. Exhale, steps all the way to the front, find your high lunge. Feel your feet really sinking into the floor. And take an exhale to arrive in this pose. Inhale, open to warrior two, gaze to the front. Exhale, extend that side angle, left elbow onto your knee, right arm over your head. Take one deep breath here. Inhale, brings you up to warrior two, straighten the left leg, left palm flips over, exhale, reverse. Open the left rib cage, allow the space. Sink back into warrior two, gaze to the front, one deep breath. Exhale, brings you down, all the way, Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, back to downward facing down. Take a deep breath here, audible exhale, side out. Inhale, come back to your Malasana Yogi Squat. At this time we just sit down, knees wide, hands in front of your chest. Give your hips a moment to arrive. Right hand down, bring the left arm behind the hip, so you can rotate over your left side. Look over the left shoulder. Exhale, release other side, left hand down. 
right fist behind the sacrum, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, release, plant the hands, wiggle the feet hip width apart, find length in your torso, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward. Grab the big toes with your peace fingers, maybe lift a little bit more your belly from your thigh, and then exhale, elbows to the side so your belly can come closer to your thigh. Enjoy that forward fold. Do you need to bend the knees or can you keep them straight? What feels good? Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands onto your hips. Come all the way up to standing with a nice flat spine. Bring your feet together, arms up over your head. Take with your right wrist your left um, arm and go into the side bend. And here the idea is also not to just sit, it's to lengthen and keep the length, belly pulls in. Very nice. Inhale brings you up, let's switch to the other side, left wrist to the right. Find the length before you go into the side bend. Inhale brings you up, exhale sit into your chair. Open the elbows to the side, puff the sternum up. Inhale, regular chair, sit a little deeper than before. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back into plank. Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, upward facing up. And exhale, all the way to downward facing up. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to the nose. Hold for just a breath. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step into the front, into your high lunge. Try to just bring the back knee almost to the floor. Hold it low for a moment here. Feel the stretch in your left psoas. Inhale, pushes you up and open to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, either the variation with the elbow. If you feel warm, you can go deeper. Left arm up or over your head. Inhale, pulls you back up to warrior two, straighten the right leg. Exhale, reverse it. Inhale, warrior two, bend the right leg. Sink deep into your warrior two. Exhale, one we'll lift down. Step back, vinyasa. We'll meet back and downward facing down. One breath to neutralize. Stay within yourself. Left leg lift, three legged down, down. Exhale. Forehead to knee, round the upper spine, pull the core in. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step it through, high lunge. Pull the hips parallel to the front, belly hugs in. A lot of times we feel like arching and reaching back with our arms, but really pull that belly in before you bend the back knee. You will feel the stretch in the right so as much more. One more breath. Inhale, pulls you up and open to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow to the knee or to the inside, right arm up or over your head. And one long breath here. Inhale, come back up, straighten your left leg, reverse triangle pulse. Try not to use the back arm, keep the length in your right torso as well. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, sink deep for one more cycle of breath. Wendle it all the way down to the mat. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. And exhale, downward facing down. 
Inhale, step or jump forward to the front of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, all the way up to standing with Vastasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend your legs for Utkatasana. I'm going to try a side bend here, so take your right wrist to your left. The knees stay together, but you still want to shrink the right side and keep the length in your left. See if the knees and toes are in one line. Very nice. Inhale brings you up. Let's try the other side. Do you feel any difference between right and left? Inhale, brings you up, interlace the hands behind the back, lengthen your chest. Lean forward halfway so you can connect the belly to the thigh, maybe the nose to the knee. Pull the arms a little more up. And then slowly straighten your legs. Let go of the hands, halfway lift. Create space to step back into your plank. Chaturanga Vandasana. Inhale, upward facing down. And exhale, downward facing down. One breath to neutralize. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, nose to the knee. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through, high lunge. Arms up. Bring the back knee down all the way to the floor. Take the right hand on the right knee and try to catch your left foot from inside with your left hand. You still want to reach forward with the chest. You don't have to go so deep at all. Just like keep rotating the chest forward. Keep pulling the belly button in. Exhale, release. Fight back to your high lunge. Lean forward, find your warrior three, arms forward or alongside of the body. Inhale, come up to standing on your right leg. Catch the left foot from inside. We go for one round of dancer's pose. Lift forward with your chest, take the right hand as a counterbalance. Find your expression of dance this morning. Inhale, pull the back up, arms overhead so you can step back and open into warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, your variation. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, reverse triangle, push into your right leg, open the right rib cage. Find back to warrior two, gaze to the front. Exhale, whittle it down, vinyasa, all the way to downward facing up. Take a deep breath here, audible exhale. Let any expectation go so you can stay centered in the flow. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, forehead to knee, crunch. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through, high latch. Arms along your ears. Pull the belly button in, bring the right knee down all the way to the floor. Left hand onto your hip, left hand inside of your right foot. How can you keep the rotation of the hip forward? Hips allow it, you can really sink and then release. Push yourself back up into your high lunge. Find your warrior three. Inhale brings you up, one leg tadasana. Grab the foot from the inside just like we did on the floor. Left arm up to counterbalance your weight in your dentures pose. Inhale, brings you back up, release the foot, arms up, step slowly back, high lunge, open into warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, 
Find your expression that feels good. Inhale brings you up. Straighten your left leg. Reverse triangle pose on the side. Come back to warrior two. Sing for one more breath. Exhale. Wind lift down. Dranga Nandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Just wiggle your head a little bit from side to side. Give yourself a moment to feel how different this down dog feels compared to the first one you took today. I love these moments when we pause and really make space to feel and listen. Inhale, walk or step to the front, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to standing with Vastasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Let's go one more time through the flow, bend the knees. This time come onto your toes, right hand down, left arm over the side, shrink the right side. Inhale, both arms up, find the balance on your toes, exhale, other side. Stay long in your torso. Inhale, both arms lift, brings you all the way back to chair with your exhale, plant the heels down. Swing the arms back, connect the torso to the legs, nose to the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana, chin. Shift your weight onto the right leg. Step back with your left. Find your high lunge. Arms alongside of the torso. Shift your weight forward, warrior three. Inhale, one leg. Tarasana, catch the left foot from inside, right arm forward. Try one more time to just dance in your own way. Do you want to stay here? Or maybe do you want to bring the hand down and open the hip on top of that? Wherever you are, we'll meet back and dance with spots. Release the back leg. Step it back. High lunge. Open to warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward and find the leg. Inhale, pushes you all the way up, right leg straight, exhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, warrior two, exhale, with a little Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing up. And exhale, downward facing up. Look to the front, step or jump in between your hands, halfway left. Exhale, forward foot. Inhale, Katasana chair. Come onto your toes one more time. Interlace the hands behind the back. You can open your chest. You can bring the knees down and lean back. If this is not too much this morning. Inhale, brings you back. Try to shift the weight back onto your toes. Come all the way back up into your chair. Weight to the left, find back to your high lunge, arms up, exhale, torso to the thigh, lunge back to warrior three, inhale, one leg to us, now catch the foot from inside with your right hand, dance your way into this Friday, if you did Bring the hand down and open the hip on the other side. You can try the same thing here. Otherwise, we'll meet back. In dancer's pose, release the back leg. Step it all the way back to your high lunge. Open to warrior two. Exhale, extend the side angle. Inhale, back up. Straighten your left leg, reverse triangle. One more breath in warrior two. Exhale, brings it down. 
flow all the way back to downward facing dog. Bring your knees down. Set yourself back into your child's pose. Hands forward or alongside of your body, what feels good. How can we show up for ourselves in the outer world from our inside place? Come from here all the way back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, fall back to your yogi squat, Ulasana. I give you a couple options here. You can just stay in your Molasana. You can go in that side bend variation again. Or you can just take a moment to fly on your hands, flying frog or crow, whatever feels good. You want to have the hand shoulder width apart, elbows wide for flying frog, connect the toes. If you can, you lift from your belly. You just want to stay in your stretch this morning, that's completely fine. Honor where you are, very nice. I love to see you flying. And then we're going to give ourselves a nice stretch and everyone can do that. Bring the hands with the top of the hand just behind your back and bring the elbow inside. So the elbow is pushing in the side of the thigh. You can do one arm at a time if you're quite flexible. You could also do both at the same time. That's like a stretch for our serratus muscle. I always like to move my head a little bit from side to side as well. Just explore a little bit. And then release the hands, bring the legs back into straight, wiggle the feet together hip width apart. Bring both of your hands underneath the feet, toes go all the way to the wrist, Parastasana. Lift your chest halfway up to create that length and exhale, elbows to the side. Do you need to bend the legs to make that happen? Or can you keep them straight? The neck long and relaxed, the face soft, no crunching in the jaw. Inhale, halfway lift. Let go of the hands, take the hands to the hips, all the way up to standing. Let's bring the feet wider in our straddle. Hands can come back onto the hips, halfway forward. Plant your left hand directly underneath your shoulder. And then the right hand can come onto your sacrum, palm flat. And then look over your right shoulder. If you need a little bit more height to feel the twist, you can come onto your fingertips. That creates a little bit more space. But you want to move with your breath. The inhale lengthens the spine. The exhale brings you into the twist. Stay for one more breath. And exhale, release. Let's try the other side, right hand underneath, left hand on the hip. You want to make sure that your hip is nice and flat. What happens a lot is we just twist and that's me like twisting my hip instead of keeping the hip flat. And then yeah, the twist is going more into the thoracic spine instead of our lower back. One more breath. Exhale, let go. You can connect the elbows. You can swing from side to side. And just take a moment to rest here. Inhale, halfway lift. Take the big toes. If you need to bend the knee, that's fine. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, elbows to the side. Bring the head down, but keep the neck nice and long. Every time you inhale, you can lift the belly. As you exhale, the belly moves closer to the thigh. Hip bones are high. Inhale, halfway lift. Move your hands underneath. Left hand stays down. Right arm reaches up. Open arm twist this time. But think back to that um, adjustment that you gave to yourself by placing the hands on the hips. So keep the hips parallel. Keep reaching up with your right hand. Very nice. And then let the hips move a little bit by bending one leg at a time. And then exhale, right hand down. Left arm lifts, open arm twist. Find the length in your sternum, hips parallel. The right shoulder wants to move forward as the left wants to move back. One more breath. And then play with bending one leg at a time. Be a little loose in the hips. Keep the left arm reaching up. And exhale, release. Let yourself hang in between the legs, arms nice and loose. You can stay here for the next five breaths. If you want to go into an inversion and it feels good and safe, you can do a tripod head start by imagining that triangle shape, placing the head down and lifting the legs over the side, just if you feel good about it. Otherwise, you are also doing an inversion by having your head just hanging in between your legs and stay in that softness. If you chose the headstand, try to come as slow down as you made your way into it. We'll meet back in a straddle forward fold. Everyone bring yourself halfway up, hands into the hips, come all the way up, bring the feet out 45 degrees, sit into your goddess, but guide your hands to your um, ankles and you can use your elbows against the inner thigh and create length in your spine. So my spine is flat, push with your elbow into your thigh and vice versa. Inhale, release, come all the way back up. And both feet back to the front. Let's flow it down, inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, maybe open the elbows one more time, pop the chest up, feel the lightness in your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, hard lifts, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, three leg down, down. Exhale, find your pigeon on the right, the knee outside of your right wrist. I like the same variation that we did in the beginning. Find some movement first. Right to left, forward and back. Do some wiggles, stay on your fingertips. Make sure the back leg is straight. You can look over your left side. Stay for one more breath. Pull the belly into the spine to keep the length in the left psoas. The right arm reaches forward. The left arm comes underneath. You can reach the right arm all the way forward and you're in this pretzel shape. Relax the left shoulder completely on the mat, right hip down. Allow yourself to melt into this pose. Let go from all the strengthening that we did in the beginning of the flow. As much as we need strength. We need softness to stay in balance. 
And as today, you can see a moon. In two weeks, there will be a full moon. It always finds its balance. One more deep breath here. And slowly make your way up by using your right hand to unwind the left. And just sit on your right butt cheek and open to the side. I'm just gonna turn around. So the right heel is inside of the left thigh. Left arm on the inside, right arm over the head. And of course, if you feel you want to go deeper, you can always slide your left shoulder onto the inside of your left leg, maybe touch your toes, but there is no need. Inhale, brings you back up. Let's twist over the right side, left hand on your bent knee, right arm back, twist over the right shoulder, find the leg. Exhale, unwind, come back to the front of your mat, bring both legs back into your downward facing dog. And if you want to wiggle out your hip or open your hip, shake your leg out, feel free to do so. Give you one more breath to meet back in downward facing dog. And then left leg lifts into the sky, pigeon on the left. Left knee outside of the left wrist. Make some movements here. Stay soft in your body. Allow yourself to explore the space that you can find. Come onto your fingertips so you can look back, see if your right leg is straight. Left arm forward, right arm underneath. So the right shoulder can come down onto the mat, left arm straight forward. Give all your weight to the right shoulder and the left hip. Melt into the floor. Be carried by this present moment. What is happening inside when you slow down, when you stop? Next inhale brings you back up to sit it. Just roll onto the left hip, open the right leg up. Pull the left heel close to the right thigh. Right hand alongside of your extended leg, left arm over your head. You just want to stay here, maybe even taking the lower arm as a head support. Then you want to move deeper, what feels good. Stay for one more cycle of breath. Inhale, pulls you up. Right hand goes to your bent knee. Left arm behind, twist over your left shoulder. See if you can pull less, but breathe more. And use your breath to unwind your body. Very nice, exhale, release. All the way, roll over your foot. Find back to downward facing dog. Make movements that feel good in your left hip. And then we arrive in our downward facing dog. Bring the knees down. Come onto your toes. I'm gonna do a little toe stretch here. Make sure the little toes are joining the party as well. Just sit here. 
for a moment. We'll feel the stretch in the inner arch of the foot. Take the right arm up, take with your left hand the right elbow. Instead of letting the ribs flare out, try to pull the belly in, ribs in. Three deep breaths on this side. And your feet are very happy about this stretch as you usually put them into shoes. Let's change to the other side. Right wrist grabs the left elbow. Sit up tall. Just three more breaths. Exhale, release, hands down, tap the feet out. And then we go into the counter stretch. So the tops of the feet are down. You can take both of your hands and lean back. If you feel like that's too much, you can do one leg at a time. If you want to work on balance, you can just shift yourself back without the hands. But don't break your ankle, please. And then release. Bring the right heel outside and the left leg forward. Half Mirasana pose. See that the knee is in one line with the hip. You can just stay here. If you need more height underneath, you can use a pillow or a block. If you feel comfortable here, you could walk yourself back. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe all the way. Let's take a moment to breathe here, into the quad, release it. Can you close your eyes and connect more to the space inside? Wherever you are, make your way back up. Sit onto your left cheek so you can bring the right knee to the front. Just hook behind your kneecap. Make some circles for your knees in both directions. And just shake it out from right to left, whatever feels good to release the knee. And then take both of your hands to your right foot. You can straighten the right leg out, sit up straight. If you need to keep the knee bent, that's fine. I want you to sit up straight more instead of like leaning back and straightening the leg. So, find the leg. One more breath. And let go of the leg. Let it slowly come down. Active core engagement. Other side, left heel outside of your left glute. Sit up straight. Do you want to stay here? Do you want to come a little bit more down? Or do you want to come all the way down? Whenever your body is giving you a signal of pain or restriction, sometimes we can release it by just breathing into it. But most of the time, it's a signal that we need to back up. We need to listen. We need to take time for the progressions. And there's no rush. Take three more deep breaths here. Come all the way back down, make your way back up slowly. Sit onto your right glutes, lift the left leg to the front, hug it behind and make some big circles. In what direction, you're welcome to integrate the toes and the ankles as well. And sit up straight first. Catch your foot with both of your hands. 
Keep the length as you work on extending your left leg. Chest up. Two deep breaths here. And then start by pulling the belly into the spine. Keep the lift in the leg and let the leg come down slow. Sit back, make sure you sit on both of your sitting bones, both arms up. Exhale forward, Paschimottanasana. Do you need to just be relaxed here or do you want to take the feet or the big toes to compress a little more? This practice gives us a constant offering to check in with ourselves. One more deep breath here. Inhale, brings you back up, roll all the way down onto your back. I'll also give you a couple options here. You can just bring the legs up straight. If you have a wall close by, maybe you just want to bring the legs up the wall and stay in softness. Otherwise, you can move into your shoulders and by bringing your feet above your head, maybe. You want to do a shoulder stretch first. Or you can bring the hands onto the lower back Bringing up one leg at a time. Look towards your toes to have a focus point or just close your eyes. Meditate in this pose. You should feel most of the weight onto your elbows and upper arms if you're all the way up. Try to have 10 deep breaths here. But if your body is telling you, I had enough, listen, come back to what you need. Three more deep breath. If you were all the way up into your shoulder stand, find your counter pose, halasana. If you just brought the legs up, you can also come, uh, come into a counter pose or Wait a little longer if it doesn't feel good in your neck. Support your hands alongside of your body to roll back down one vertebra at a time. Plant the feet down so you can touch the back of the heels. Lift your hips back up. Do you just want to stay here or do you want to interlace the fingers underneath? Three deep breath. Exhale slowly, come back down. Go into a spinal twist. Bring the arms out wide. Connect your knees and let the knees just fall to the left side. Can you keep both shoulders planted on the mat? Try to come back to lengthening with your inhale and letting your exhale move your body deeper into the twist. Look over the right shoulder if it feels good in your neck. Pull 
hold you back to center, hug the knees in for a moment, and then let the knees fall to the left side. Left shoulder on the mat, gaze to the left. Great length with your breath. Inhale brings you back. Take the knees, give yourself some circles. Massage your back. And connect the soles of the feet. Catch your ankles, pull the nose to the feet for a breath. Exhale, let the feet as they are come down to the mats of the Barakanasana. Hands wherever it feels good, to your belly, to your heart, to your inner thigh. Close your eyes. Let the weight just pull you deeper into relaxation, into being held. Trust your body to allow the depth that it's ready for. You can stay in this position for the final resting pose, Shavasana, if you like. Otherwise, you're also welcome to slide the legs out into your Shavasana pose. Maybe take another deep breath. And with your exhale, just let it fade out. And let everything go. back to the question I ask how can we show up for ourselves in the outer world from our inside place I believe that the aim is to create a human tribe that is reminded again of being together in this human experience in this human experience because our essence is connection and this is what we strive on embrace your humanness come back to the true true nature that resides in community We've always shared this planet and the situation goes beyond borders and lockdowns. The only way out is working together. We are only as strong as we are together because then we have the full potential as we are able to co-create. Find ways to use the connection that you find within yourself to share with your outside world, to share that heart space. Because I believe that the worldwide community is what keeps us moving forward and what keeps us moving through change.
can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like, if you have the time. Otherwise, reawaken your body gently from this final resting pose. Create gentle movements in your fingers and toes. Roll your head from side to side. Give yourself a good morning stretch. Bring your arms overhead, feet into opposite direction. And exhale, roll onto your favorite side fetal position. Use your arms as a pillow. Take a moment to just be grateful. back up into a final sitting position that allows your spine to be upright and straight. Take a moment to just be here to observe your practice. Guide your hands together in front of your heart. Come back to your intention. Connect with your heart. Bring your hands to your third eye center, your seat of intuition, through your lips, always speaking your truth, and back to your heart. May you always be guided by your heart. Namaste.